I'm Tim Roy for Warriors.com. We're welcoming the newest Golden State Warrior, and that is guard Tony Douglas. And we are here inside the Warriors practice facility, inside the weight room, as you can tell, to welcome him. And uh, you're a Golden State Warrior. How's that make you feel? <laughs> it feels good to be here. The jersey is hanging there behind you with the, the number uh, zero. What brought you to this point? Why, why sign with Golden State? Um, they're a winning team. Great players, um, great coach, atmosphere, the fans, you know, and I feel like each year they took themselves to that next level and they had a great run in the playoff this past season. And I feel like, you know, coming here, do whatever it takes to do to win to help them get to that next level. Now our fans haven't seen you all that much because you spent a lot of time in New York, but last year in Houston and in Sacramento, uh, the image I have of you is really getting up there and Ding up on Steph Curry. I remember one night at, at Oracle. What was your experience playing in Oakland like and what did you learn about the Warriors? The experience playing here is a, is a great experience with the atmosphere. Um, nice arena, great fans. No matter what, they down 20 up 20, they're gonna pit their team, their team up. They're gonna stay by their side. The Warrior players, <laughs> now my teammates, they love playing with each other. They play together, they do whatever it takes to do to win. Um, no matter if they, whenever they face adversity, they don't hold their heads, they just keep grinding it out and play all 48 minutes. Of the players on the roster, I know you played with David Lee in New York at least for one year. Uh, any, anyone else that you have a relationship with? Um, you know, me and Steph Curry, we came in the same draft together in 2009. So, you know, through the draft process and stuff like that, we have a relationship throughout the NBA. So I'm able to talk to him off the court. Uh, so how did you think number 30 did in the playoffs last year? He <laughs> was unbelievable, man. I was, in my, I was in my bed like, oh my God, he's going off. Shooting threes against Denver. You know, he had a great run against San Antonio Spurs. You know, they believe he, he was hurt, but they still, they was facing adversity, but they didn't back down. They showed a lot of hard heart and a lot of poise out there on the floor. And, you know, there's only good things to come. Have you talked to David at all about how it goes on here with Golden State? Um, I haven't talked to him um, yet, but once I get here and get settled, I'll talk to him, Steph, and everybody, and, you know, just get their vibe on the city, the team, the coaches, and themselves, you know, and just feel welcome here. You're one of a number of new faces that are coming to the Warriors roster this year, and obviously one of the big names is Andre Iguodala. What, what did you think of that signing? Great signing. Um, he does it on both ends of the floor. He could play one, two, or three. <laughs> and versatile in this league, you know, it's a one, two, and three league to me. It is um, guard-wise, and he's long, athletic, and he's going to most definitely improve our defense because he could have long arms, he's athletic, he could guard the post and play against fast and quick guards. What experience have you had at all with Mark Jackson? The only experience I had was being on the opposing side, <laughs> playing against their team. But um, just seeing him coach, he never get rattled. He always calm. <laughs> if the team go on a 10-0 run and he call a timeout, he don't yell, he don't really yell too much and cuss the players out. He may tell them what he needs to do. He makes sure the players keep their poise and you know stuff like that. So I think that's a great job as coach's perspective you know, to keep their team calm and, you know, to get back on their run. One of the things that I think helped propel the Warriors to what they did last year in the playoffs, as you mentioned, facing adversity, was, was the team chemistry that they have. How important is that for you? It's very important, you know, having the team chemistry. I feel like last year, watching them and playing against them, every, everyone knew their role. You're going to have the superstars, and you're going to have the role players. Everybody do whatever it takes to do to win, you know. And if everybody on one, one accord like that, it's no question this organization, this franchise to win. Someone clicks on this interview and they're not familiar with your game, how would you describe it? Versatile. Um, I guard ones and twos, big and physical. I can make plays, score the ball, and I love to play defense. Um, doing whatever the coach asks me to do, I'm going to do. Um, the little things I do a lot that people don't see, that don't show up on the stat sheet, flexions, you know, ball pressure, you know, disrupting the other team, not getting their offense comfortable. I think that was a little things that helped teams win and that people don't see on the stat sheet, and I take pride in it. 